Guys, we have breaking news once again. We have breaking news once again. And this time, it's to do with the news of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, which buys stakes in Japan's five leading trading companies. Now, if you've been staying up to date with the current political affairs going on right now in Japan, then you would know that this move is an incredibly bold bet on the recovery of the Japanese economy. But before we dive deep into the news and discover which five companies Warren Buffett actually took positions in, I first and foremost want to say a happy birthday to the man himself, Warren Buffett. He recently turned 90. He's an absolute legend and one of the best investors of all time in my books. To me, he has been a massive influence in my investing philosophies and I'm sure he also has played a part in your investing philosophies. I hope you had an incredible birthday, Mr. Buffett, and thank you for your investing wisdom and all you've shared with us over the years. All right. Love you, man. Right. So now we've got that out of the way. Back to the breaking news. And Warren Buffett, to be honest, guys, has been full of surprises this year, don't you think? So first of all, he started off this year by trimming his airline stock positions. And do you remember when we all thought it was below the 10% threshold? Do you remember that, guys? Well... Only a few months later, surprise, he sold his entire stake in Delta, Southwest, American and United Airlines. So no, it wasn't to get below 10%, it was to get rid of the entire position. And you guys know what I mean, all right? So, and then at his annual shareholders meeting, which, which of course was broadcasted live, he said that US banks are in good shape, okay? He said they're in very good shape this time around. And then what happens? Boom. Only a few months later, yep, another surprise. He dissolved his position in Goldman Sachs and reduced his positions in Wells Fargo and JP Morgan by $3 billion a piece. Warren Buffett has also in the past, you know I was going to bring this up guys, Warren Buffett has bashed gold continuously in the past, you know he's been very critical of gold and he said that it produces nothing and then recently what happens, you guys already know, he invests in Barrack Gold which is an exploration and gold mining company, okay so yes it wasn't gold directly, it was a company whose sole purpose is to mine the very thing that he's bashed in the past, okay? Warren Buffett has also said that you should never bet against America, you know, nothing can stop this nation, but he's been selling US stocks. He has been selling US stocks and now we learn he's investing in Japanese stocks. And if you've been up to date with the recent current affairs in Japan, you would know that Japan is currently without a leader at the moment because Shinzo Abe has recently stepped down as prime minister and from the reports that I've read it's due to health reasons. So this is all slightly confusing to me and I can only assume he's doing this for diversification of his portfolio which is great however Warren Buffett has also said in the past that diversification is protection against ignorance okay. It makes little sense if you know what you're doing. That's a quote directly from Warren Buffett himself. So what in the world is going on? If someone can make sense of all of this, then please comment in the section below what you think Warren Buffett is doing because I am scratching my head here thinking this guy has contradicted himself so many times this year. It's absolutely crazy. All right, but let's go back to this breaking news and identify the five companies that Warren Buffett has invested in. So the key points from the headline is this. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has acquired a slightly more than 5% stake in each of the five leading Japanese trading companies. Berkshire acquired holdings in Itochu Corp, Marubeni Corp, Mitsubishi Corp, Mitsu & Co and Sumitomo Corp over a roughly 12-month period through regular purchases on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Based on Friday's closing prices for the trading houses, a 5% stake in each would be valued roughly at 6.25 billion US dollars. And yes, Warren Buffett has decided to start splashing some of that cash that he's been sitting on for a couple of years. The final point is that Berkshire says it intends to hold the investment for the long term, and that it may increase its holdings in any of the companies up to a maximum of 9.9% depending on the price, okay? So let's first of all take a look at Itochu Corp, which of course has had a huge spike upwards on the breaking news of Warren Buffett's acquisition, currently up 5.51%. 
and the total corp engages in trading and importing and exporting of various products worldwide these products include textiles machineries metals energy chemicals food living <laughs> information and finance and in addition to all of that they develop a wide range of businesses including domestic and overseas business investments okay so quite a mouthful but they're into importing and exporting to cut a long story short that's the fundamentals guys and let's take a quick look at their financials they have quite a good pe ratio which is sitting at 8.96 and they do actually pay a really nice dividends which is sitting at 3.37 percent so this is another dividend payer that we can add to warren buffett's list of dividend paying companies so taking a further look into their statistics and they have a tight operating margin which is sitting at 3.47 with a profit margin of 4.31%, which to be honest is within range of companies within similar sectors. They have a quarterly revenue year on year growth of minus 12.40%, which leads to a quarterly earnings year-on-year -year revenue growth of minus 28.90%. And moving on to the balance sheet, they are over leveraged with their total cash position, which sits at 712.38 billion Japanese yen. Not in dollars, guys. This is in Japanese yen. And they also have a total debt position of 4.08 trillion Japanese yen. But they do have a current ratio, which sits at 1.21 which means that their total current assets do exceed their total current liabilities, which means they're pretty much good for the next 12 months at least. And they do have a positive operating cash flow, which sits at 978.54 billion. So I think overall, not a bad purchase to be honest. And I do think their dividend yield is very, very attractive. So his second purchase was Marubeni Corporation, which also, as you can see, has also had a huge spike upon the breaking news. But Marubeni Corp trades in grains, food ingredients, compound feeds, foods and agriculture and marine products, processed seafood, fresh and processed meats, you know, raw ingredients and materials. They are also involved in apparel, footwear, lifestyle and textile products, okay? So they are also into the importing and exporting of various goods, okay? Taking a quick look at their financials, guys, and they do not have a PE ratio because they reported negative earnings, but they are also a solid dividend paying company and the dividend yield is sitting at 2.57%. I'm starting to think maybe Warren Buffett invested in these guys for their dividends. And taking a look at the company's profitability, they do have an operating margin of 2%, but their profit margin is down at minus 3.14%. Their quarterly revenue year-on-year -year growth is minus 16.80%, which leads to a quarterly earnings year-on-year -year growth of minus 10.8%. 80%. Balance sheet isn't looking too great as well as they are also slightly over leveraged. They have a total cash position of 893.24 billion yen, while their total debt is sitting at 2.52 trillion Japanese yen. They do have a decent current ratio of 1.25. Again, means their total current assets do exceed their total current liabilities. And another plus is that they do have a positive operating cash flow which is sitting at 431.6 billion yen, okay? So the next company that Warren Buffett purchased was Sumitomo Corporation, okay? And again, just like the other two before it, look at the chart patterns. It's pretty much similar. This, this is up 10.48%, my goodness. Now, this company is also actually one of my favorite of the bunch, and you'll soon find out why. But anyways, let's look at the fundamentals of the company. Sumitomo Corporation also deal with importing and exporting of products but they actually specialize in steel sheets and also non-ferrous metals like aluminium and also titanium it also is into the transportation and construction of systems and segment manufacturing which also provide finances for ships aircraft aerospace equipment and automotive equipment okay and they're also into agricultural machinery and industrial vehicles now they do have a pe ratio which is sitting at 34.45 and they have an incredible dividend yield, guys. Look at that dividend yield, 5.56%. Now that is a juicy, juicy dividend yield, man. Wow, <laughs> amazing, man. I love this dividend yield. But not to get sidetracked only by the dividend yield, their profitability is also decent with an operating margin of 2.71%. And they also have a profit margin of 1.01%. So very, very, very tight margins, guys. 
Their quarterly revenue year on year growth is sitting at minus 21.10%. And moving on to their balance sheet, they are also over leveraged with their cash position sitting at 621.46 billion versus their total debt, which is sitting at 3.65 trillion. This is crazy amount of debt, guys. They do have a good current ratio, however, which is sitting at 1.58%. And they also have a positive operating cash flow of 324 0.45 billion so i'm starting to see a bit of a trend he's not really worried about their revenue growth at the moment as long as they have a decent current ratio and they also have positive operating cash flow and the fact that they are also dividend payers this seems to be a common factor between the top three that i've read out so far which is quite interesting but i personally cannot get that dividend yield out of my head five over five percent the fourth acquisition was in Mitsubishi Corporation, which is actually really complex to find their financials. However, the fundamentals of the business is that they are involved in international trade of commodities, consumer and industrial products, project management, and strategic finance and investment. Other important services include marketing and distribution, sourcing and transfer of technology, as well as product sourcing and supply chain management, okay? From the little that I was able to find on Seeking Alpha, they also have a dividend yield of 5.58%. Wow. With a PE ratio of 8.76%, guys. I mean, again, another huge dividend payer. But in terms of their balance sheet information, I wasn't able to source that for now. And the last company that he purchased was Mitsui & Co, which is a business that engages in product sales, again, also in importing and exporting, you know, worldwide logistics and financing. They're also into iron and steel products, minerals and metal resources, energy infrastructure projects, mobility, chemicals, food, retail, IT, healthcare, you name it, they do it. <laughs> It's kind of what I get from this company, but they've got their hands in a lot of pies, okay? Their PE ratio is sitting at 9.20, and they also do pay an incredible dividend yield, which sits at 4.47%. So yes, again, guys, another high-yielding dividend stock. Profit margin is sitting at 4.86%, with an operating margin of 0%. Their quarterly revenue year-on-year -year growth is sitting at minus 6.80%. And their quarterly earnings year on year growth is sitting at minus 50%. Okay. But they do have a decent current ratio, which is sitting at 1.61, which again is an indicator that the company can fulfill its current financial obligations within the next 12 months. And those are the brief fundamentals and financials of the five Japanese companies that Warren Buffett recently purchased. So, so to summarize, they do have some incredible dividend yields. These dividend yields are incredibly attractive. I must say, and I do like the look of Itochu Corp and Sumitomo and also Mitsui and Co. <laughs> All right. But drop in the comment section below your thoughts regarding Warren Buffett's recent acquisitions and which one of the five companies that he purchased do you like the most? Now, guys, this is not my usual format because it is 3 a.m. in the morning here in the UK. And I did jump out of bed to record this and get this out to you ASAP. So please drop the video a like. I would really, really appreciate it, guys. And if you do want to stay up to date with major stock market news like this, and also if you're interested in some in-depth stock analysis and research, then don't forget to smash that subscribe button, join the party, guys, and also hit the notification bell to stay locked in. With all that said, guys, I'm tired. I'm off to bed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.